welcome back. Today I'm going to be reacting to the trailer for The Prom. This was originally a musical that opened on Broadway in 2018 and I'm a massive fan of it. I think it's amazing and it should have won the Tony. The film adaption of The Prom will be released on Netflix on December 11th, 2020. And yes, I know it's not Disney, but it's my channel. I make the rules, okay? Even though I'm a big fan of this musical, I am a little nervous about the film. Ryan Murphy is directing and I'm not always a fan of his TV shows and movies and I've also heard that the Broadway cast was treated really badly during casting and I think that's not on. Like you cannot give someone a part and still be respectful. Anyway, I really hope it is good though, fingers crossed. And play! I like that logo. You got the steps. Well, you that's got pretty. The notes. But where's the zazz, baby? Why is Angie doing the voiceover? What's going on? Who are you people? Oh my god, that's. <laughs> I love this part. Surely you know who I am. Where is my suite? We don't have a suite. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you have a suite? We have come to this community on behalf of a young girl. Oh, there they are. I just want to go to prom like any other kid. Yes, yeah, she does. All opposed. Oh, I like the song. You're not alone. And you do have friends. And we are ride or die. So much oh, Angie. Okay, well, let's give this girl a prom. In the end, there will be a kick ass prom in Edgewater, Indiana for everybody. I know it. Lots of dancing. the cheerleader again about that trailer because they didn't really get the premise of the movie across. Like there wasn't even a reference to Emma wanting to take her girlfriend to the high school prom and that's basically the show. I understand that they wanted to focus on their big stars but you can do that while still putting across the story. On a positive note though the dance numbers in this show look really good so I'm really excited to see them. Anyway, if you liked this video, please click like and please subscribe. I normally cover Disney content, so if you like Disney, you should definitely subscribe. Goodbye now and have a magical day.